In a previous lesson, we learned how to multiply a decimal by 10, 100 or 1000. Now, I'm going to show you how to divide a decimal by 10, 100 or 1000. Let's see how it's done. What you noticed earlier on when we did the multiplication is that when we multiplied, we grabbed the decimal point and we moved to the right. Now, what is the opposite of times? It's divide. So, in multiplication, we move to the right. In division, we move to the left. Let's see how it's done. 22.4 divided by 10. We grab our point and we say, you don't belong here. We're going to move you to the left. How many times? Because we're dividing by 10, 10 has one zero, we're moving you once to the left. So we grab and we move it once to the left. So it, th the point is going to be between the two and the other two. So it will be two point two four. So twenty two point four divided by ten will be two point two four. So we move it once to the left. Next, three point seven divided by ten. Once again, a 10 has one zero. We are dividing, so we are grabbing the point, and we're saying, you're going to move to the left. Moving to the left, so grabbing it, and moving it to the left once. So 3.7 divided by 10, 0 0.37. So we moved it before the 3, it was there and we moved it and it became 0 0.37. 3.5 divided by 100. Now, we're dividing by 100. Remember, there are two zeros, that means we're jumping twice. We're grabbing and moving the point twice. So, we grab the point and we say, move once and move twice. So we're moving and jumping over the 3 and over nothing, which means we're jumping over 0. So our point, 0 point, we're jumping over nothing, so there's a 0 going to go there. And 3, 5. So 3.5 divided by 10 is 0 0.035. 6 divided by 100. Hang on, I can't see a point. But we know that 6 is a whole number, which means 6.0. 6.0, meaning the actual point is right there. So it's very important if you're dealing with a number and you don't see the point, you know the point is right at the end. So 6 point, we're grabbing the point, we're saying you're going to move twice, because two zeros, twice to the left. Once, twice. So... There's going to be a zero here. Zero point. We have a zero and we have our six. Zero point zero six. We've moved it twice to the left. <coughs> okay. Six point eight divided by a thousand. We're going to the left how many times? Three times, because we have one, two, three zeros. All right, let's do it. 6.8 divided by a thousand, moving once, twice, three times. So we're jumping over the six, we're jumping over nothing, and we're jumping over another nothing. So zero point zero zero six. The point was here. Between the 6 and the 8, we move 3 times. Once, twice, 3 times, 0 0.0068. Last one, 14.7 divided by 1,000. Let's do it. We're jumping 3 times to the left. Once, twice, and another jump. Makes it 3. We know there is nothing there, so we would put a 0. 0. 0.0. 0, 1, 
four, seven. So the point was between the four and the seven, and we moved it three times. Once, twice, three times, zero point zero one four seven. So it's, as you can see, it's very similar to the multiplication, except we're going to the left. With multiplication, we're going to the right. Easy, straight to the point, follow the procedure, always show your arrows, that way you understand, and you won't make a mistake, and you'll get everything correct, just like I do here.